This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Hey, it's cold here in southwest Florida. 40s, 50s, <laughs> daytime highs in the 60s. Um, yeah, my plugs are not working so well. Um, so I've been toying around with bucktails. And yeah, so you see, you know, I, I get this blow up here, but that's about as much interest as I seem to get from them. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've been toying around with bucktails and I've had some decent catches, but I didn't quite like the bucktails that I had with me. Uh, I'm really picky about bucktails and especially the hooks and stuff. So um, my northern followers know I have an association with SNS Bucktails based in New Jersey and uh, they have a line of, um, yeah, see, you know, they, they blow up on the plug, they don't hit it. Um, I have a line of um, fluke and striper bucktails uh, with my name. So I contacted Stanley at SNS and um, we went back and forth and this is the jig we came up with and it works. And we'll take a closer look at the bucktail in a bit, but uh, okay, hey, it's uh, something to actually thump that bucktail hard um, as opposed to just uh, splashing at the plugs. Not not a big fish, but we're going to get there, um, and uh, we're going to get there pretty soon. And that's a gulp 4-inch uh, grub trailer on there. Would not be my first choice of color. The chartreuse, I, I don't have any other gulp. I don't know if anybody has gulp at this point. Uh, I know it's been pretty well back ordered. Nonetheless, it's been working for me, so I, I guess I'm not going to worry too much about it because uh, this and a couple of other trips that I haven't posted, uh, this whole combination has worked well, so we'll see. Yeah, so I uh, just switched off from the plug to the bucktail and um, and got that fish. So I'm going to just pedal up just a little ways and reset and, um, and, and start again on this stretch. Okay, that cast was right in there, perfect. Uh, yeah, so I work it out a little ways, but then I'm just going to burn it back because uh, if you don't get a hit 20 feet out, then you're better off just get that lure back in, put it up on the shore again.
big fish. Big, big fish. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that, but it makes, just makes the trip right there. <sighs> I'm gonna hold on to him while I pedal a little bit just to revive him, um, but yeah. Oh. What a way to start. Right, the overhead view. Uh, yeah, you see the retrieval. Right down at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see it's only a couple cranks. You can see that rotor turning, but boy, it's just a few cranks off the shore. And um, let's go in and take a look at what this shoreline looks like um, on one of the instances where I snagged. This is actually a, a different trip. I've got a nice camera angle here, but you can see on my right, it's kind of deep. You can see there's running current, but then look how shallow it gets up against the shore. I mean, you know, on those good casts, it's going into inches of water. And uh, so with the bucktail, when that thing hits, a lot of times I'll grab the line with my index finger right away and just pull back a little bit just to get it moving because, you know, if you, you put that cast right up against the shoreline, you're, you're in maybe five inches of water, um, so you want to get it moving. So what happened there was uh, there was a, um, a log on the bottom, and I, I just happened to catch that. But this uh, gives a nice view of what it looks like, um, really shallow, then it drops off. All right, let's get back to the fishing. And uh, yeah, so you can look at the line down by the, the base of the rod to get some idea of how uh, slow or fast I'm reeling and the jig action. Because again, you know, casting shallow, going to come a little bit deeper. So, you know, after I get it off that shoreline, then I'm going to, you know, move it a little bit slower just to give it some depth. Um, this is about 20 minutes after landing that nice big fish. Is the second biggest snook I've ever had on. <clears throat> well, it's not the second biggest, but it is really a good one. When they come out with that head and that, those gills flared, and, oh, they look big. It's a good one. Come on, just like keep following me. Come on, stay away from the damn boat. I, I, I lose them, I lose them. <sighs> wow. Unbelievable. <sighs> but they didn't want the plug, they wanted the jig.
I had a poor angle on the overhead camera that time so I'm using this from, a, from the other trip where I've got uh, a nice angle to see the retrieve so take a couple of casts here um, and again you know, as soon as that thing's near the shore I'm, I'm gonna move it uh, so that it doesn't get on the bottom then I'm gonna slow it up and uh, you know, once I'm out I don't know 20-25 feet I'm not good with distance um, I'm gonna burn it in and, uh, and, and go again Okay, a quick look at the bucktail. That hook is so important. It's a gamakatsu hook, um, super sharp, very strong. What's important is both uh, the hook shank length and the gap so that uh, you've got a trailer like this and it will push up correctly. And right where the collar is, and I get distracted because a fish jumped, right at the collar, it's a, a double barbed collar. So when you push that trailer up, it holds on there. Um, it's got the proper gap length so that plenty of the hook is exposed it's just rather perfect you know I went back and forth with Stanley on this trying to get this right um, so yeah there'll be a link to that uh, in the video description it's uh, called the SNS uh, Skinner Gulf series and it comes in some good southern colors uh, you know when I'm up north I often say if you had nothing but white bucktails you'd be fine that, that's just not the case here the, the tans the greens um, you know they're, they're real important for this kind of fishing and no matter what bucktail you buy for this kind of fishing, just make sure that hook is strong because, boy, when they run for the mangroves, there's a lot of power. Jump. Any other morning, that's probably my <laughs> best fish, but no. Bite the thumb, bite the thumb, bite the thumb. All right, and I'll leave you with the overhead view, and again, look towards the bottom of the screen. You're going to see uh, that rotor turn. You'll be able to see the, what the retrieve is, but there's not much of a retrieve because that fish is going to hit almost right away. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe.